Have you ever wondered why some places in the U.S. are overwhelmingly white? While America is known for its diverse cultures, there are spots where the scene is pretty monochrome. Today, we're going to talk about the 10 whitest states in the country. But why does this matter? Well, it's not just about numbers. Each state's story helps us understand the bigger picture of American history and the choices people make about where they live. In this video, we're going to explore these states and uncover the reasons behind their demographics, from the history that shaped them to the cultural and economic factors that define them. Every state has a unique story. Some of these places are known for their stunning landscapes and rich traditions shaped by the people who settled there long ago. So come along as we explore America's white states. Whether you're interested in history, culture, or just curious about different parts of the country, there's something here for you. Well, my name is Sean, and welcome to Best Blocks. Let's start the countdown. Kicking off our list at number 10 is Nebraska. Now, when you think of Nebraska, you might imagine wide open skies and miles of endless plains. And you wouldn't be wrong. Nebraska is often called the Cornhusker State, but it's also a place with a deep-seated historical connection to European ancestry. About 86.8% .8 of its population identifies as white, making it a fascinating starting point for our journey through the whitest states in America. Nebraska's demographic landscape has been heavily shaped by waves of European immigrants who settled in the state throughout the 19th century. The majority came from places like Germany, Sweden, and Ireland, attracted by the promise of fertile farmland and the opportunity to start anew. These early settlers left a significant imprint on the state, not only through their descendants who continue to make up a large part of the population, but also through the cultural traditions that remain vibrant to this day. In Nebraska, you'll find numerous festivals celebrating this European heritage, including Oktoberfests that feature traditional German beers and foods. The state's love for college football, a passion shared by its diverse communities, unites everyone during the fall season. This blend of deep-rooted traditions and communal activities creates a unique cultural environment that still resonates with the predominantly white demographic of Nebraska today. As we jump into our next state on the list, be sure to hit that subscribe button to help us reach our milestone of 100,000 subscribers this year. Your support makes all the difference. Next up at number nine is Kansas, often called the Sunflower State. With about 86.5% of its residents identifying as white, Kansas has a strong European influence that dates back to the 19th century. Many of its early settlers came from Germany, Sweden, and other parts of Northern Europe, attracted by the vast farmland and a chance to continue their traditions. Today, Kansas still celebrates this heritage, especially in towns like Lindsborg, affectionately known as Little Sweden. Here, every year, people come together for the Midsummer Festival to enjoy traditional Swedish dances, foods, and crafts. These festivities show how Kansas holds onto its roots while welcoming everyone to join in the fun. But Kansas isn't just about looking back. It's also about embracing the present. The state's predominantly white population enjoys a lifestyle that is deeply connected to the land. From the rolling Flint Hills to the bustling farmer's markets in cities like Wichita and Topeka, Kansas combines natural beauty with a strong sense of community. Sports, particularly college basketball, are another unifying force bringing together people of all backgrounds to cheer on their local teams. In essence, Kansas shows us how traditions in modern day life can coexist harmoniously, deeply influenced by the state's historical roots yet always evolving. Next on our list at number eight is Kentucky, a state known for its bluegrass bourbon and the famous Kentucky Derby. Kentucky stands out with about 87.33% of its population identifying as white. This high percentage is rooted in a rich history of European settlers who came looking for a fresh start in America. Back in the day, Kentucky attracted lots of English, German, and Ulster Scots who were drawn by the fertile land and opportunities for farming and starting new lives. One of the most famous early explorers of Kentucky was Daniel Boone, who helped pave the way for many to follow him into what was then the wild frontier. Today, Kentucky's appeal to its white population can be seen in its deep-seated traditions and love for the outdoors. The rolling hills and spacious landscapes offer a perfect backdrop for horse racing and outdoor adventures. And then there's the bourbon. Kentucky is proud of having the world's largest bourbon producing facilities, which is a big part of local culture and history. Kentuckians celebrate their heritage and community through festivals, horse races, and local gatherings that bring people together. 
It's a place where traditions are cherished and everyone feels like they're part of one big family. So Kentucky not only tells us a story of its past, but also shows how those traditions live on and keep the community spirit alive. Moving westward, Oregon claims the seventh spot on our list. Known for its stunning landscapes, from rugged coastlines to dense forests, Oregon's population is 87.35% white. The Pacific Northwest state has a rich history of European settlers drawn here by the promise of land and new opportunities. The influx of settlers to Oregon really kicked off with the Oregon Trail, a historic route that thousands of pioneers traveled in hopes of a better life. Many of these early adventurers were from places like Scandinavia, England, and Germany. They were lured by fertile lands and the potential for prosperity, which continues to influence the state today. Oregonians take pride in their state's natural beauty and have a deep appreciation for the outdoors. It's a paradise for hikers, bikers, and nature lovers, and this connection to the land resonates well with the state's predominantly white population. Moreover, Oregon's culture is a quirky mix of environmentalism and progressivism, with a strong community focus that encourages sustainability in local businesses. The state's love for craft beer and coffee also showcases its modern cultural vibes, which blend seamlessly with the environmental values cherished by its residents. From enjoying a craft beer in a cozy Portland pub to cycling through the Willamette Valley, the lifestyle in Oregon is a big part of what makes it appealing to its residents. In Oregon, the spirit of the pioneers is still alive, fostering a community that cherishes both its historical roots and its progressive, forward-thinking ideals. Next, we head to the heart of the Midwest to Iowa, landing at number six on our list. Known as the Hawkeye State, Iowa is celebrated for its vast fields of corn and, yes, a predominantly white population. As of the latest census, a staggering 90.5% of Iowans identify as white. The story of Iowa's demographic makeup has much to do with its agricultural allure. Back in the day, European immigrants, especially from Germany, Ireland, and Scandinavia, were drawn to Iowa's lush landscapes and the promise of prosperous farmland. These settlers left a lasting mark on the state, influencing everything from local traditions to the very makeup of its population. Today, Iowa is a place where these roots are still evident. The state hosts numerous festivals that celebrate its European heritage with food, music, and dance that pay homage to the ancestors who shaped this community. The Iowa State Fair, a beloved annual event, showcases the best of Iowa's agricultural achievements and community spirit, drawing people from all walks of life. Life in Iowa is marked by a strong sense of community and the simple pleasures of small-town living. It's a place where neighbors know each other, and there's a shared pride in the state's contributions to agriculture in the country. This close-knit atmosphere and the continued celebration of their European roots make Iowa uniquely appealing to its residents. Before we move on to the top five, let's hear from you. Drop a comment below to share which state surprised you the most or any thoughts you have about our list so far. We love hearing from you. Moving into the top five, we find New Hampshire. Known as the Granite State, New Hampshire stands out with its rugged landscapes and fiercely independent spirit. The state boasts a population where about 91 point, 39% of its residents are white, a demographic shaped significantly by historical migrations. The early settlers in New Hampshire were primarily from England, setting the stage for a predominantly English cultural influence that lasted for centuries. Over time, waves of Irish and French Canadian immigrants also found their way here, attracted by the state's promise of freedom and opportunity. These groups added to the cultural mosaic but did not significantly alter the predominantly white demographic. Today, New Hampshire's identity is deeply intertwined with its motto, live free or die, reflecting a strong sense of liberty and independence that appeals to its residents. The state offers a plethora of outdoor adventures, from hiking in the majestic White Mountains to relaxing beside serene lakes and rivers. This connection to nature is a big draw for many looking for a peaceful life close to the great outdoors. The lifestyle in New Hampshire is marked by a blend of tradition and nature. Residents enjoy the benefits of a close-knit community with the independence to live according to their values. From traditional town meetings to local festivals that celebrate the state's history and natural beauty, New Hampshire provides a unique setting where past and present meet. 
In New Hampshire, the allure of freedom, combined with stunning natural environments, crafts a living experience that resonates strongly with its predominantly white population. Next, we venture into the serene landscapes of Maine, holding the fourth spot on our list. With about 92.12% of its residents identifying as white, Maine is not just celebrated for its scenic beauty, but also for its homogenous demographic profile. Maine's high percentage of white residents can be traced back to European immigration, particularly from Canada and Ireland. These settlers were drawn to Maine's expansive coastlines, vast forests, and the opportunity for fishing, logging, and farming over the centuries. These immigrants blended into the local population, which was already predominantly white. Today, Maine is much more than its demographics. It's known for its stunning natural attractions, such as the countless lighthouses that dot its rugged coast and the fresh lobster that is a staple of local cuisine. Maine also offers vast, tranquil forests and picturesque views that attract tourists and nature lovers alike. The state's lifestyle appeals to those who enjoy a slower pace of life and a strong sense of community. Residents of Maine are known for their resilience and close-knit relationships, qualities that are celebrated through various community events and local traditions. Additionally, Maine's allure isn't just in its landscapes, but in its cultural offerings, including numerous art festivals and local craft fairs that reflect the state's rich heritage. In Maine, the combination of breathtaking natural beauty, a slower lifestyle, and a deeply rooted sense of community create a uniquely appealing environment for its predominantly white population. Stepping into the third position, we find Vermont where a staggering 92.71% of its population is white. Known for its idyllic landscapes and small town charm, Vermont exemplifies a serene retreat into nature coupled with a vibrant community life. Vermont's demographic profile has been shaped significantly by historical migrations, predominantly from French Canadians and Europeans. These settlers were drawn to Vermont's green mountains and fertile valleys, seeking new opportunities in agriculture and timber. Over time, they established a way of life that deeply values the environment, community, and sustainability. Today, Vermont is celebrated not just for its scenic beauty, but also for its environmental consciousness and progressive values. It's a state where you can enjoy the tranquility of the countryside, or delve into the bustling farmers markets and artisanal shops that line the streets of towns like Burlington and Montpelier. Vermonters take pride in their local produce, from maple syrup to craft cheeses, which are a testament to the state's commitment to organic and locally sourced product. The state's culture is also a big draw, with numerous music and arts festivals throughout the year that bring the community together. Vermont's outdoor lifestyle is another major attraction, offering residents and visitors alike a chance to engage in hiking, skiing, and other recreational activities that make the most of the natural surroundings. In Vermont, the blend of pastoral beauty, community-oriented living, and a commitment to preserving the environment makes it an especially appealing place for its predominantly white population who value these aspects of life. Sliding into the number two spot on our list is Wyoming, a state where the vast landscapes of rolling plains and towering mountains are as expansive as the sky above. Wyoming is incredibly white, with about 93.28% of its population identifying as such. This figure highlights the state's history of European migration, particularly from Ireland, Germany. Wyoming's attraction for these early settlers was its open land and the opportunities it presented for a new life. Many came during the construction of the Union Pacific Railroad, which opened the region to more settlements and economic growth. These historical migrations have left a lasting demographic imprint on the state. Today, Wyoming is not just a place with a high white population. It's a haven for nature and outdoor adventure enthusiasts. From the iconic Yellowstone National Park to the majestic Grand Teton, Wyoming offers some of the most striking natural beauty in the United States. These landscapes provide a playground for hiking, skiing, and wildlife watching, activities that have historically appealed to the state's demographic. But Wyoming's culture extends beyond its natural wonders. The state is steeped in a rich heritage of rodeos, country music festivals, and cowboy poetry readings, all of which celebrate Wyoming's unique history and cultural identity. These events draw crowds from across the nation and are a vibrant representation of Wyoming's traditional American spirit. In Wyoming, the vast open spaces and the rich cultural life form a unique blend that appeals to its predominantly white population, 
offering a lifestyle deeply connected to both its historical roots and natural wonders. Finally, at the top of our list, we find West Virginia, a state with a population where nearly 97.4% identify as white. Known as the Mountain State, West Virginia is as rich in cultural history as it is in natural beauty, with its rolling hills and coal-rich mountains drawing both admiration and exploration. The origins of West Virginia's predominantly white demographic date back to the 1700s when European settlers, particularly from Scotland, Ireland, and Germany, began to arrive. They were drawn to the region for its abundant land and the opportunities it offered for farming and later coal mining. These early settlers left a lasting influence that still resonates in the state's culture today. West Virginia is renowned for its rugged terrain, which provides the perfect backdrop for numerous outdoor activities such as hiking, whitewater rafting, and skiing. These adventurous pursuits are a significant part of life here and appeal strongly to the local population. The state also celebrates its heritage with bluegrass music festivals and folk gatherings that highlight its rich Appalachian roots. Moreover, West Virginia's community spirit is palpable. The state's residents share a deep connection to their land and to each other, fostering a strong sense of belonging and pride in their local traditions. Events like the annual Bridge Day Festival, where adrenaline junkies base jump from the New River Gorge Bridge, underscore the fearless spirit and tight-knit community that define this state. In West Virginia, the combination of a deeply rooted historical legacy, a commitment to outdoor and community activities, and a lifestyle that celebrates its unique Appalachian culture make it a distinctive and appealing place for its predominantly white population. And lastly, please don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and please donate a subscribe to help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers this year. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.